Hello friends, welcome to YouTube channel Electronics for You. In this video, I will talk about derivation of closed loop transfer function. So before going through the details, uh, let's see uh, the block diagram introduction for the closed loop system. So this is a closed loop system because it is consisting of a feedback. Here R of S is the Laplace transform of input signal and C of S is the Laplace transform of output signal. Further new uh, signals are there that is E of S and B of S. We can see here that E of S is the signal which is generated here from the summing point. It is called as error signal. So E of S is the Laplace transform of error signal and B of S is the feedback signal. So it is Laplace transform of feedback signal. Two new things are here. It is G of S and H of S. Generally in block diagram we write transfer function inside the block. So uh, it is a transfer function. So G of S is the transfer function. It is uh, here on the forward path. So we call it as a feedback function uh, Laplace transfer uh, sorry it is a transfer function of forward path and H of S is the transfer function of feedback path. So uh, before derivation we will see one uh, small concept it is transfer function. I have already made videos uh, on the transfer function before this video. So this is transfer function and it is defined as the ratio of Laplace transform of output to the Laplace transform of input considering all initial conditions as 0. Now uh, definitely if we define it, it will be C of S upon R of S equals to transfer function. So uh, if we want to calculate output, then output will be equals to multiplication of this two that is transfer function multiplied by Laplace transform of output. So uh, Laplace transform of input. So the Laplace transform of output is equals to transfer function multiplied by Laplace transform of input. Now we will use the same formula. If, uh, it means that if you want to calculate C of S then C of S will be equals to transfer function multiplied by R of S. We will use same formula for our derivation. Now we here want to calculate C of S upon R of S that is transfer function. So we will first calculate C of S. Now C of S is the output and it is output generated by this block. Therefore, as uh, per our formula, it is G of S multiplied by its input. So G of S and its input is E of S. So C of S will be equals to G of S multiplied by E of S. This is let this be the equation number one. Now we know that E of S is the error signal and it is generated uh, by this summing point. So output will be equals to R of S. So it is plus minus B of S. It is algebraic sum of this two input signal. Therefore, E of S that is error signal is equals to R of S plus minus B of S. Here plus minus sign indicates the positive feedback and negative feedback respectively. Now this is equation number two. If we put E of S in our equation number one, we will get equation like this. C of S is equals to G of S into R of S plus minus B of S. Now we are having this B of S that is nothing but a output of this feedback path. So as per our formula, we will get a B of S is equals to H of S multiplied by its input. Its input is nothing but C of S. Therefore, we will get B of S is equals to H of S into C of S. Let this be equation number 3 and 4. Now using equation number 3 and 4, we will get uh, uh, what we have to do. We have to just put this B of S here and we will get equation like this. Now we will multiply G of uh, multiply this bracket by G of S and after simplifying we will get equation like this. Here we are having C of S here and this is R of S. Now 
our trans as per our definition we have to calculate c of s upon r of s therefore definitely we will separate this c of s and r of s so uh, we will send this this equation to the left hand side and therefore uh, this plus minus sign will be inverted and therefore c of s minus plus g of s into h of s into c of s will be equals to this will remain as it is that is g of s into r of s now we will have this c of s here and if we put it common then we will get c of s it is 1 minus plus g of s into h of s the remaining thing will remain as it is and if we want to find the transfer function that transfer function is c of s upon r of s and it will be equals to g of s will remain as it is and uh, this is multiplied by here so on the left hand uh, on the right hand side it will get divided and we will get 1 minus plus g of s into h of s so this is the equation for the closed loop feedback system transfer function of a closed loop feedback system and that is what we have to derive here this is minus plus and our feedback was plus minus means sign is inverted when we consider a positive feedback and a negative feedback so for the negative feedback we are having transfer function as g of s divided by 1 plus g of s into h of s and for the positive feedback definitely sign is inverted here so here it will have for positive feedback this formula is having negative sign so this is the derivation for the feedback uh, closed loop feedback system and generally application here is that we use it in our uh, in our block diagram reduction technique thank you and friends if you like this video please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for notification and like comment and share thank you